Jess. This video comes to you in three parts. Part one, um, I feel like something is different. What, what's missing here? Um, our Christmas tree. We finally took all the ornaments off of it and took it down and out to the dumpster. And it was actually kind of a funny chore to have to do because we left a very long, very messy trail of pine needles all the way across the living room, through the hallway, out the door, and it was just a huge mess. And we looked back at it and just laughed. And then Aaron very nicely vacuumed up all the pine needles. So that's the end of my first Christmas with a real tree. And it was definitely an adventure, but I would do it again. Part two, which is the main part of the video. Here's my bullet journal. I know this is not a fancy Moleskine notebook or anything. Um, this is a journal given to me by my dear friend Kylea as a graduation gift. And I just love the colors in it. And for a long time, I wanted to do something special with it, but I didn't know what. And so ta-da, bullet journal. Now for some page close-ups. Here is my legend and index. Don't get me wrong, I love all the fancy spreads that I see on Pinterest, but I really wanted to keep it simple and I didn't have a whole lot of time to assemble this. So here are my monthly spreads. I just have one per page. And I just put the date on each line and the day of the week. And I have a little extra room for some notes and to-do lists and such. Um, but I sort of had a little fun um, giving each month a theme. I did use a different color for each month, and so I'm hoping to kind of use those colors to color code my months. The first few pages after that are just a general brain dump. Um, it's for notes and thoughts and reminders and just any ideas or quotes that I want to remember and write down. This is the page I've already shown you. It's probably my most used page for tracking my daily Bible readings. These pages are for movies and shows I want to see. I have already watched The Greatest Showman, which is excellent, by the way, and I've been singing those songs all week long. And this side has the TV shows with each box has a different episode. I'm currently way behind on the whole CW Arrowverse, and my friends keep talking about it, and so I really want to catch up. On these pages I have a reading list and a music list, and I already have lots of reading lists, so I don't really need another one, but this is just a few more to add to the pile, and these are artists or other music that I would like to check out sometime. This page is for some very exciting money meters. This is for tracking or saving, and this one is for paying off our new car like the little road I've got going on there. And as you can see, we haven't really started yet, but we did put a thousand down, so hopefully that helps. This is a page for crafting ideas, but I can't really show you the whole thing because there's some gift ideas on there. The last two pages are thinking ahead for gifts for everyone for next Christmas. You can never be too prepared. And finally, all of the Crash Course episodes that I would like to catch up on. As you can see, uh, a lot of things in here are just lists of things that I want to do or make or experience, but I find it really helpful to have all of that in one place and to have a place that I can write it down when I think of it. And I think it would be really helpful for planning as well. And as you know, I just love lists in general. So this is very, very exciting to me. So thank you for being the trailblazer and showing me how well it works for you because I think that definitely helped get me moving on making my own. And finally, part three, your challenge on Monday. I think that you're totally crazy and I'm not sure how I'm going to get it all done, but I accept your challenge of doing a vlog every weekday in February. As you can see on my February page, the first day of February is in fact a Thursday. So I guess that means I go first. It's going to be pretty crazy, but I am excited about it. So bring on Feber Frenzy. Is that what we're calling it? I'm not really sure, but there's still time to change it if we want, right? All that being said, Jess, I love you, and I'll see you on Monday.